Hello again, Kids Town. Welcome back to another Bible story time. This week, we are reading a story about a man named Balaam and his talking donkey. This is in Numbers chapter 22. So grab your Bible and let's read the story together. Now you're talking. Taken from Numbers chapter 22, verses 21 through 41, from the perspective of Balaam. I love my donkey. We've been together for years. Sure, he can be stubborn sometimes. All donkeys are like that. But today, he was especially headstrong. I had been traveling down the road to visit the king of Moab. But God wanted to stop me from going. So God sent an angel with a drawn sword to block my path. I didn't see the angel. But my donkey did, and he bolted off the road into the weeds. I hit him with my stick and got him back on the road. The angel appeared again, but I still didn't see it. This time my donkey tried to squeeze around the angel and crushed my foot against the wall, so I hit him again. Then the angel showed up one more time, and my donkey dropped to the ground with me still on his back. I was so mad. This time I let my donkey have it. Then I got the surprise of my life. My donkey started talking to me. Why do you keep hitting me? My donkey asked. You're making me look like a fool, I shouted. You've never done anything like this before. Exactly, said my donkey. Just then, God opened my eyes, and I saw the angel standing in our way, holding a sword. I dropped to the ground and apologized. Why are you beating your donkey? The angel asked. He was being stubborn, I said. No, you are the one being stubborn. I've come to block your way because you're resisting God. Three times your donkey saw me and shied away, said the angel. I'm sorry, I said. I'll turn around right now. You can go, said the angel, but when you meet the king, say only what God tells you to say. So I went on my way, but I sure never looked at my donkey the same way again. When God wants to get our attention, sometimes it takes something extraordinary. It can be the voice of a friend, even an unexpected friend with four legs and big ears. I only wish my donkey would talk to me again. Don't get me wrong, I've always tried to be faithful to God. People who know me know that I try to do what God wants me to do. But sometimes I get a little off track. Does that ever happen to you? Then God has a way of surprising us sometimes. A little extra push or a nudge, maybe even a jolt. Anything to get our feet back on God's path. How has God tried to get your attention? Find a piece of paper and write down five things that distract you from God. Then pray and ask God to help you remember to focus on Him instead.